The California Republican Party is crisscrossing the state on a whistle stop tour. That's right. Joining us in studio this morning is Tom Del Beccaro, the chairman of the California Republican Party. And I'd like to say good morning and thank you for stopping by. Absolutely. Thanks for having very me. Early. Yeah, 10 a.m. at the Liberty Bell downtown. And first of all, the message to get the state back on the right track is what you're saying. Yet it seems like in recent times we've been able to get on track when it even comes to our state's budget. What's going to be your message today? Well, the issue is revenues now. We now have a revenue problem in this state. We have a million less people working today than a decade ago, and 4.4 .4 million people have left since 98. And you know where they're going? The top nine states have an income tax top rate of 3.5% on average. Uh -huh. Ours is 10.3. And what Jerry Brown is proposing is to make us the highest in the nation and chase more jobs away. Our message is if you want to solve our budget problems, you've got to solve our unemployment problems. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what Governor Jerry Brown has been proposing. We were just talking about how he wants to tax anyone who makes more than $250,000 a year, and he wants to increase the sales tax. So if that doesn't happen, then where are we going to be making this money from? Well, the key here is that over the last decade, we've been losing employees out of this state. And when you lose employees, they don't have income, they don't pay sales tax and that kind of thing. So the key is after 10 straight years of raising taxes, we're talking about raising taxes. They should do things like that will make it easier to do business here. Just two days ago, Capital One announced that they were taking 850 jobs, high paying jobs out of Salinas. You know where they're going? South Dakota. And it's not because of the right. Vista or the beach. Mm -hmm. It's because we're uncompetitive as a state. We need to bring our regulations and our taxes in balance with the Western United States, bring jobs back, and then revenues will jump. But just, just, Asking people to pay more out of their pockets today. I mean, I just traveled down here uh, on the train, and you go through these small towns. I've done it several times. People don't have the extra sales tax. They're barely making their mortgage. Mm -hmm. That's the difference we've got to make, bringing jobs back. You know, and when you look at this, uh, when it comes to the uh, Democrat and GOP in the state of California, I mean, obviously with the numbers completely overmatched, uh, the Democratic to Republican. It's pretty ruling I was going to say, how do you... How do you win this fight? I mean, is it a matter of winning? Is it a matter of finding a compromise? I mean, what do you do? What's interesting is that the California voters consistently vote for our initiatives that are on the ballot. We need to do a better job of going around the entire state, going to places like this. I'm much happier to be here than in Sacramento, mm -hmm. believe me. We need to talk to voters and get them to understand that our party has alternatives. We had an alternative to the automatic automatic education cuts the Democrats are using. Mm -hmm. We gave them $4.4 .4 billion in savings so that they wouldn't have to cut education. They don't want to do that because that would ca cause uh, them to cut back on the bureaucracy. But we think we should favor savings in government over taxing people more. All right. So you guys are going to be uh, in Bakersfield at 10 o'clock at the Liberty Bell. Tell us where you're moving to after that. Then we're going uh, back up to, we started yesterday in Sacramento. We kicked it off. And then we're going up to Sacramento. We'll be in uh, the Inland Empire next week. We'll be all over the state in, in this coming year because we've got to take the message directly to people. Sacramento isn't where the action's at. Real people live in places like Bakersfield, and that's where we want to talk to them. All right, very good. If you would like to get involved, it is, once again, 10 o'clock this morning at the Liberty Bell. You can go on out there and then get all the messages. Tom Del Vicaro, thank you for coming in this morning. And I'll, I'll work time. on getting above 50.